Hey everyone, it's Ivan with GetBadger.com. Out of here today for another gear review, talking about these right here, which is the MTHD Merino Base Layer by Tactical Distributors. If you're unfamiliar with Tactical Distributors, they sell all kinds of tactical gear to include clothing, boots, things like that. And they also have their own in-house brand to include kind of performance clothing, which is their MTHD, standing for Mountain Tundra H2O Desert. Basically kind of their own layering system that spans all the different climates. To that end, these right here, their Merino base layer, it's their level one. Essentially that very base foundational layer that everything else is built off of. So with these, personally, I don't consider them as much of a, I don't know, kind of insulation layer as basically a wicking layer because you can go ahead and pile on insulation, but you wanna make sure that whatever is actually next to your skin can pull moisture away. And these in fact do that. These being made of 100% merino wool have a bunch of inherent properties with merino wool. One, really soft, also it's kind of a no drip, no melt. So if you're gonna be around things that are hot and fire, they're not gonna end up melting and sticking onto you, which is a good thing. And they also do a really good job wicking away moisture. In addition to that, they have natural antimicrobial properties, all of which really good things with respect to a base layer. As far as some of the features, these right here being the bottoms, on the back, they have this grippy wraparound waistband, basically this kind of grippy material, which actually does a really good job being able to keep the shirt tucked in when you're wearing them so you don't have it end up riding up and up front there's basically a flip open fly and then all of your seams are actually sewn nice and flat so you don't have high spots for wear as far as the top goes largely more the same flat lock seams throughout the whole thing so you don't end up with places that are wearing and then on your sleeves you have thumb holes it's actually really nice when you're layering, especially if you're putting on a jacket that maybe has kind of tight cuffs to keep wind and stuff like that out. So when you put it on, your sleeves don't bunch up way back in your arms. Under the arms, gusseted again, dynamic movement. And then over here on the left sleeve, MTHD logo, it's reflective. Same width, there's one on the thigh of the pants. And then on the back, inside the collar, basically this kind of little little string essentially that allows you to go ahead and hang this up if you end up wetting this out because of exertion something like that really easy to just hang it up let this thing quickly dry then you can throw it back on with all that said what has been my experience with this well used it quite a bit this past season basically winter 2020 spring 2021 and using it both skiing Again, as a base layer, throwing this on and then whatever over it, layering up, or even just kind of out hiking and backpacking. I will say, as I mentioned earlier, I don't really consider this like a warming layer. You will have some base layers that are honestly like pretty warm. This isn't really that. Almost kind of has a cooling effect when you initially put it on. And then, at least in my experience, and then of course scale up different layers as you need it. What it does really good for me is actually wick away moisture. And that, especially with my buddy, Bill Rapier, we ended up skiing like up and over some mountains this past season on like AT setup. And yeah, once you start going hard and you start sweating, the last thing you want is to be wet. And this does a really good job of basically pulling that moisture away. Because honestly, same with downhill skiing for that matter you end up exerting yourself, skiing hard downhill, you get to the bottom, you hop on a chairlift, and if you basically started to sweat and didn't have something to help pull that moisture away, now you just freeze because now you gotta ride the chairlift to the top or in the back country again, hiking, skiing, whatever it may be, you start to exert, start to sweat a tiny bit, then you stop to rest, and yeah, if you're wet, you're gonna be really, really cold. So for me personally, this does a really good job with respect to just moisture management. You can find these over Tactical Distributors. The top, I wanna to say, runs about $75, bottom $70, and then if you want, they also make a short sleeve. Again, same material, that merino wool, and they also make a boxer brief, depending on what you're looking for. 
I have a couple of pairs of those, nice and comfortable as well. Honestly, overall, I think one Merino is an incredible material and definitely a lot of pretty good design elements in these, I will say. Not a insulation layer, but a really good base layer as far as being able to just wick away moisture. Been really pleased with this setup, but if you appreciate my content and want to support it, greatly appreciate it. Whether it's liking and sharing videos or supporting me directly through Patreon for as little as a dollar a month, help me go out, create more content for you. And if you have questions, happy to answer them over there. We have active Discord set up. If you ask questions, I probably won't be in the comments, but happy to answer anything over on our Discord. But as always, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Crazy dog, man.